So one of the biggest challenges in Kenya's agriculture sector is post-harvest losses, with farmers incurring an estimated loss of about up to 30% of their farm produce, according to the Food and Agriculture Organization. So to cap this, several innovations to mitigate this have come up. One such innovation is BioAfric Energy, a venture offering solar power drying technology to farmers to help them effectively dehydrate their farm produce to increase their shelf life. Edward Chwea has more. When Elizabeth Nyamai resigned from her job in the Ministry of Agriculture to do farming, she invested in four acres of pumpkins in Machakos County with the aim of making profits. But when the pumpkins were ready, she could not find a ready market for them. She helplessly watched them go to waste. I spent over 100,000 in, in the seed and I, uh, I planted a lot of pumpkin. When it was time to harvest, I had nowhere to take the pumpkin, so it was such a frustration. It was hard to dispose them. Seeing his mother helpless, James Nyamai embarked on research with the aim of finding a solution to such heavy losses. In 2017, he developed a dryer relying on solar energy to dry farm produce. That time, I was living in the farm with my son. We were trying to find a solution on how to reduce the losses for the pumpkins. It awakened something to develop a technology that could be able to help not just my mom, but also other farmers. The innovation is what we call a hybrid solar dryer. It makes use of the sun seat when the sun is available. But when the sun is not available, the farmer or the processor does not have to stop the operations. It has a heating system attached to it. Now, the heating system has a mechanism whereby you, uh, you can burn biomass, waste biomass in the form of maize cobs, coffee husks, and then it generates heat that heats up a heat exchange system. And with the heat exchange system, air is blown inside the heat exchange system. It taps into uh, the heat, but it doesn't come into contact with any fumes from uh, the burning biomass. And then it is blown inside of uh, the drying chamber as clean, hot air that enhances dehydration. And that is what makes the Biafric energy innovation unique. Nyamai says farmers can dry their produce throughout the year without worrying about weather patterns. This system actually also has a digital temperature control mechanism that can control the temperatures. So when you set it at say 60 degrees and the temperatures go above 60 degrees, it automatically stops the system and restarts it when the temperature goes down. So this system is also powered by solar energy. On top of that, the biomass burner we have made it um, what we call a gasifier system. A gasifier system is whereby now uh, ensures there is no carbon emission to the atmosphere for the biomass that is being burned. The dryers can be used to dehydrate different types of farm produce, and so far, Yamai says he has supplied to over 3,700 farmers. Rosalind Karemi, a flour miller, is one of those using the dryers. They enable us to dry the raw materials. We do that for cassava, we do that for sweet potato, because those are the main ingredients that we use. So you can put in the dryer and dry the same day. That our effectivity is because it enables us to do our own dust within that day. We have uh, small ones for smallholder farmers. They are portable dryers. They can easily carry from one place to another. We have the commercial units uh, from the sizes of 1.5 meters by 2 meters all the way up to 10 meters by 15 meters. They range from 25,000 Kenya shillings all the way to 800,000 Kenya shillings. With referrals, Nyamai says the reception has been positive from his target customers and now he intends to reach more farmers by installing dehydration centers in the counties where farmers can dry their produce at a fee. This is something that we are working with together with the, the Ministry of Micro and Small Enterprises who have actually given us the first uh, go down that we can use in Makwene County. We are also looking at ways of expanding this technology into East Africa. We have started receiving inquiries from Uganda, Tanzania, and even as far as Zambia of our technology. And this is something we want to roll out now and cross the borders. Edward Chwea, Made in Kenya, Citizen TV.